Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah, it's a great day. <laughs> it's <laughs> raining outside. Everyone here's single. But Miles, you have something to lift our spirits, right? Let's hear it. Let's hear that jam. Well, I ran into The weekend the other day, the artist, the, the rap artist. and <laughs> Is he rap? Oh, he's like like. He does a lot R&B. of vocalizing. Yeah, he's like a pretty vocal guy. Some new age? I don't know what that is. Adult contemporary. Yeah, he's an adult contemporary artist. <laughs> Just like, yeah. And so uh, essentially I asked, I showed him, you know, what we had, our animations, you know, our script. And I asked him what he thought yeah. of the show. And you know what he said? Let's hear it. That was a personal recording from his phone. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. He, well, yeah. He doesn't text a lot. He sent me a voice recording that, later that day, and that's what he said. And he no. said he was loving the crew. Loving the crew. Loving the crew. And then the Nutshack guys told me, <laughs> <laughs> "We love the crew." I'm pretty sure those we guys We love the crew. crew. I'm pretty sure those guys are not around. They're anymore. out of the business. <laughs> no. Yeah, they're selling cars now. <laughs> hey, and welcome to this week's edition of the Artifact Production Podcast, a weekly production podcast where we cover the making of the crew. Sorry, I'm playing with Precious. She's sitting in my lap. Oh, Our little mascot. And uh, sorry for the podcast coming out late today, but I was a little under the weather yesterday. Afterwards. And so was Miles. Yeah, I wasn't feeling too hot. Oh, I'm uh, Jose. I'm Catalina. I'm Miles. And uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, we are at Artifact underscore media. That's A-R-T-E-F-A-C-T underscore media. And you can find us on our website at artifactproduction.com. That's A-R-T-E-F-A-C-T production.com. All right, guys. So we had a pretty busy week. Very. But as always, let's get down to business first. We have selected a winner. For the Cage Face Contest. For the Cage Face Contest. It's like my skull's on fire, but I'm all right. I'm good. It's, it feels like my skull's on fire, but I'm good. I'm sorry. I didn't get the quote right. How about bees? <laughs> oh, one of them my eyes. Oh. <laughs> what is that from? That's from The Wicker Man. They we have to show you face. that movie. No. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. No. Uh, but, Miles, yeah. um, you were adamant to be the one to pick the winner. I wasn't. So we wanted to make sure I wasn't that adamant. Uh, you got the... Honors, to, yeah. Yeah, the honors. That's yeah. Uh, the honors to announce the winner. <clears throat> so would you please announce the winner? It's my honor. Um, the winner is Arakashi, who submitted via Twitter. Um, Arakashi would like the ability to produce a pencil whenever um, one is needed. So congratulations. We picked your... Um, congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Hey, you did it. Hey. Hey. Congratulations. congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you know, they. We love the crew. <laughs> we love the and crew. And so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he muted. <laughs> he muted him. Good job, Miles. So, uh, thank, uh, congratulations, Arakashi. You will be receiving uh, via mail a um, via snail mail. Via snail mail. And I'll be reaching out to you, Arakashi, on uh, Twitter to yes. get your information. Yeah, to we get can all your send info. it to you. And we will. We will. So congratulations. congratulations! Congratulations! You did Thank it you so very good. much. You thank you to job. all of the participants. Thank you very much for participating. Absolutely, great uh, answers. Yeah. So thank you very much. And again, we'll be reaching out to you on Twitter. Mm-hmm. So next. Next order of business. I wanted to cover our live stream from last week. So yes, last Thursday. Yeah. Sugoi. 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 So last Thursday, we did our first ever live stream. It was yes. on Periscope. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was awesome. We got yeah. a chance to interact with the audience mm-hmm. and get some new people to help us create characters and stuff like that. And um, if you want to check it out, you can find it on our Periscope. I don't know. Our... Yeah, it's just Artifact Production. You can search for us that way. Okay. So you can find us that way. We also tweeted it out. And mm-hmm. I believe we put it the link to it on a blog post at our website also. But uh, it was about an hour long. And we made... Uh, two characters that were our, of our own invention. Yeah. Uh, w- who were they, Miles? We br- well, we brought to life the pre-existing character that, that we had kind of... Well, I guess we'd been inspired to create um, Cosmic Eel mm-hmm. with help from our great uh, our great viewers. And then we also made Lil Husker, who was kind of a feral baby, mm-hmm. who yeah. may or may not have the superpower to turn into an actual dog. And we I think also, it's largely a rumor. Yeah, it's just a rumor. You know, <laughs> it's hearsay. <laughs> Um, and then we also brought to life the a character we've had in the works for a long time. Miles' brainchild. My brainchild. Yeah. I love this character, Zang Beckley, who's a uh, daytime talk show host for 
the hero world. Yeah, so if you want to see those character designs, uh, you can check out our Instagram or go watch that live stream. And uh, I would say just be sure to turn in this coming Thursday. And this Thursday will be on YouTube, is that correct? Yeah, so um, that's another thing. The live stream went really well this past week, but what we wanted to do was kind of up our production game on live streaming. So we wanted to actually show you what the screen was casting. So we're going to do a live stream through YouTube, and it's still going to be at the same time every Thursday, Mm -hmm. 730 Central Standard Time. Yep. And we're going to be doing the same thing, two of our uh, concept arts and then probably taking some audience suggestions just to build one for fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. About three in general. It's probably going to last around an hour like last time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I and think that's a good time. Right. And and we, we've we um, invested some resources and time into giving you a better glimpse, or not even a glimpse, a full view of what we're drawing. Last time we kind of had an over-the-shoulder shot that worked fairly well. But once we zoomed into the image, we had a really like overwhelmingly positive reaction. So right now, it's essentially a screen capture, and you're going to get to see him animate in real time with also a camera on us as we take your suggestions and talk to you guys. Yeah, yeah and I think you also kind of get to see how it is that we go about creating characters, the lines that we start developing for them, how we see them, their mannerisms, all that good stuff. So I think that, uh, no pun intended, last week's live stream really illustrated that well. Yeah, it was nice. <sighs> illustrated. Don't give me no heavy sigh. <laughs> sandbag him. No. Sandbag him. You can't sandbag me every week. <laughs> You're getting sandbagged. Oh, yes. So, guys. Well, um, I was being gross. You, you had to restart. So, guys, I don't need to tell y'all, but we are really kicking it into overdrive now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I am, aside from the live streaming that I, you know, spent a day or so setting up, now I'm creating media, stuff for, like that for it, so mm-hmm. that the production really comes together. But getting back to the animatic and the actual animation, I feel very confident saying that we will launch our Kickstarter by April. Yes. And I want everyone to know that at this point, moving forward, we're really flying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're talking about 8 to 14-hour days of just working on the crew. Minimum. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, six days a week. <laughs> six days a week. You ready, Miles? Yeah, I'm ready. No, it's it's awesome. All this weekly content is going to continue. We're not we're not starting off. We're not making an excuse for it. To, we're going to slow down. All of this is going to continue. All our theme days. Um, but yeah, we're just gunning it for April. Yeah, and if you haven't seen um, last Friday, I wrote my first blog post. Yes, you uh, did. It's kind of a behind the scenes like story from my perspective of how the crew came together. A memoir of sorts. A memoir of sorts. Yeah, it's really well written. It's really I good. called it. From pencil to ink. Anyway. Oh, that's really bad. That is so rich. From pencil to ink. <laughs> <laughs> and I love on it. Saturday, I also, we posted my first image for Sketchy Saturday. Now, Miles, mm-hmm. with regard to the casting. So, if Joey's talking about kicking it up in high gear to have the animation finished in April, mm-hmm. um, you know that means Catalina and I have to cast this thing. We're, we're, we're rolling up on the home stretch of casting. Yes. We're looking at the end of February to finalize and lock down our four principal roles that we're ca- casting for. Yeah. Um, we're going to kind of have one more big marketing push for that and, you know, release posters and online images. And we would ask that you guys also just urge your friends and, and yourself, if you haven't gotten around to auditioning, to um, to do it because the end of February deadline is kind of a man-made thing. We're still looking for um, the right voices for all the parts, and we're going through every single audition we can get. So Yeah, we've already moved forward with some yeah. people. We just want to make sure that we have the largest pool and Possible. the yeah, for us to be able to make our decision. But it's very exciting. We're coming into the end of February, and we're going to start recording for that animatic for our Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we so have exciting. to have the voices. Within a month, we will have hopefully recorded the, not temp track, just the track for yeah. the first 15 minutes of the pilot episode. So... Yeah, audition. Isn't that crazy. I know. Yeah, tell this your friends audition. Insane. Everyone do everything uh, you possibly can. Everyone do all the things. Everyone do everyone all the things. Everyone do everything everywhere Animate that you can. Animate for us. Just send us pictures. Um, no. Be like the weekend. Love the crew. Love the crew. Um, we'll spare you another <laughs> round of that chorus. But and then uh, also, again, if if it ends up that you didn't get the part you wanted or you didn't get a. Uh, well, you're not not going to get a role because we're going to use everyone. Yeah, but, yeah, um, everyone. But we're, I, I, you know, shortly after the Kickstarter launches and we're able to get back into writing and creating more of the upcoming episodes, 
you'll start seeing new character pictures in the gallery on our website and you'll be able to audition for those. Yeah, that'll be the next phase, like is, you know, the new pictures of mm -hmm. Zang and oh, of Zang. Vito and Vito. all these other characters. That's going to be really exciting because we'll get to know a whole new set of people. Maybe some orphan children. Yes, in there. some 8th Street orphans some maybe Eighth in the Street mix. Orphans. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe a Husker. So that being said, I also want to encourage people that, hey, if you want to do fan art, you're more than welcome to send it in. We'll put it up in the gallery. But also, uh, I wanted to announce today that once we finish that initial casting, which you know we feel might go to the end of February or maybe just barely afterwards, I want to make sure that uh, we celebrate that in some way. So I'm going to be announcing another giveaway at the end of February, beginning of March, sometime right around there. Yeah. And um, I want people to know that it's likely going to be a fan art contest. So if you want to start drawing stuff uh, for the crew, please do it now because mm -hmm. uh, you're definitely going, for any artist, you're definitely going to want what we're going to be giving away uh, on that yeah. giveaway. This one's more art themed. And I mean, any fan art that we get, period, is going to go in yes. our gallery on our website. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And then this one is just for the prize, which is pretty awesome, I have to say. And I'd like to say, I'd just like to encourage everyone, it doesn't matter what your level of um, skill is Absolutely. or yeah, what you know, how you prefer to draw. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Just take a picture of it, submit it to us. We'll put it on our website. And you can be entered to yeah. win. It didn't yeah. exist before, and it will have existed now because of you. And that's awesome. Yes. Thank you guys very much. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's going to be it for this week. I know it was a little bit shorter, but uh, like oh. I said, oh, what's up? Did you have something? Can we talk about Valentine's Day stuff? The yeah. things that we love? <laughs> if, that, if that stays in. Can we, what? Can we talk about Valentine's Day? Can we, uh, hello. Okay. <clears throat> I brought, I brought Catalina a box of those chalk hearts with those love notes on them. You, you brought me some sunflower seeds, some Frito-Lays sunflower some, seeds. Uh, what was it? With a corn? What's a cor corn? Corn nuts. nuts. Yeah. Corn Sometimes, nuts. Oh, wait. Do you remember Corn Nuts theme song? No, that's a, I think you're thinking about Almond Joy the Mouse. No, Sometimes no, no. you feel, feel like, no, like no. a nut. No. It was a bust a nut, bust a nut, a nut, what? nut grab a bag of corn, corn nuts, nuts and bust a nut. Were they doing it through, like tongue in cheek, like gross on purpose? Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Why do we you won't smile? tell. I don't, we won't <laughs> go, tell. Go yeah. in the room and lock <laughs> the door because once you try it once, you're going to try it. Are you, are you making that up or is that real? Do you hear me how, reciting how this? We have made this up on the spot. You guys have. Played some pretty elaborate goofs <laughs> to mess with me. Yes, we have. Uh, but Corn Nuts definitely had a song like that. Yeah, it was in the 90s, man. Remember, Back like, when everything was edgy. Yeah, like Jack in the Box. Like, cheese me, cheese, cheese me, and oh. that's it. Oh. Baby, you oh know God. it's hot and juicy. Because Jack won't make it till you order it. I'm I, not lying. You know, that's oh all. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you. When I say meat, you say cheese, meat, cheese, meat, cheese. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I said it because you told me. I don't remember. I was a baby. <laughs> okay, so so. Wait, one last thing. Did you, did you ever eat combos? Yeah. Oh, combos are great. The pretzel kind pizza with the cheese. Flavor, oh. dude. That's the one I always hear about is pizza. There, Marvel <sighs> made a character called Combo Man. Do you remember that? No. It was a kid who ate radioactive combos, and he had like just like <laughs> one. It's it, a hell of a it's crossover. The, it's the worst design character ever because he literally is like one sixty. He's just like horizontal strips of different characters. A combination of different characters, really? and they had a fan contest. To, you had to write in and like guess it exactly who was on him because it was hard to tell. He was like, "Wow, Iron Man's little thing, and then Punisher's little thing right here, and like the shins of Carnage, and like no one won because <laughs> no one could guess it. <laughs> no one won. Have you ever heard of? I think his name's like Snow Fury or Snow Fire or something uh -uh. like that. And he was a bad guy. I think he was a Teen Titans bad guy or something. But uh, he got his power from snorting cocaine. That's why he's called Snow. <laughs> that's a that's incredible. <laughs> he's wow. on those gorilla uh, gorilla biscuits. Teen Titans was supposed to be all. I don't remember. I think he was a Teen Titans. I think that's one of those cautionary tales yeah. of Teen Titan. You <laughs> see what happened to that kid. So with it being Valentine's Day, let's talk about the things that we love. Mm -hmm. Not just precious, the dog. Yeah. Miles, what is probably your time like all time favorite movie? The movie that you love the most. Uh, I, oh, that would be uh, the Dark Knight, probably on, it, one of the greatest. Uh, well, I know you. I know your first. Gonna actually think that I've ever said that, Miles. I know your first choice was going to be Titanic because oh, I remember you so always good. being like, "Where's the second VHS?" when it first came out, and it was in like Stop. two parts. I remember you being like, "Where's never, the second one?" Like when you had the chili bowl. That would be like Darian. You definitely you wore didn't out my it, sister, but your brain um, did. No, uh, <laughs> but your brain did. No. Uh, <laughs> well, it was that actually until you made me sit through twenty minutes of Biodome last night. <gasps> 
That was amazing. So you, know, you love Biodome? I don't love favorite? Biodome. My favorite movie. They had the wrong Baldwin. They had um, they didn't get Billy Baldwin. They had <sighs> Stephen Baldwin. Steven. So they should have gotten Billy. My favorite movie of all time is <laughs> uh, David Fincher's 2011 remake of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh my! God. That's what I love more really? than anything. Yeah, that's your favorite one, Miles. I have my top ten. I just won't. I won't make you sit through it, I or maybe it, I will. I felt it dragged a little. T- uh, go ahead, Catalina. My all-time favorite movie would have to be Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> that's a pretty good movie. It's either that one or like Chicken Run. Chicken Run's pretty. The good. The claymation, really good, yeah. and I felt so bad like watching that film because the very first time I was watching it, I was on like a chicken pot pie kick. And I was, <laughs> I was eating a chicken pot pie when I was watching the movie. And the whole premise of it is the farmer, like, makes his whole, like, chicken pot pies now. And so they're trying to, like, fly the coop. And so I felt really They got bad. that specific? It's about making chicken pot yeah, pies? Yes. And th- that was what was crazy. I was like, <gasps> You never like, saw Chicken Run? No, I wanted Chicken to. Run's but amazing. I think we ended up seeing, like, Flintstones Viva Rock Vegas or something oh. instead. My vote was for Chicken Run We watched right that there. after eating CeCe's Pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm the type of guy, and then he's just. The well, first one's pretty good, but I don't like the second one. <laughs> you really like Rosie really O'Donnell as Betty? Wrong. Now, now you put me in a wrong. position where I. <laughs> so wrong. Or like uh, what is, uh, Kevin Spacey, he's the one that's like. <laughs> wrong. Yeah, that's his Lex Luthor. <laughs> and then your favorite movie of all time is Batman v Superman, right? I love that movie. It is a train wreck of epic <laughs> proportions, and I love it. He loves it for the wrong reasons, and you know, not because I, it inspires him. I saw him. that movie opening weekend in theater, and everyone that I went with, they were like, oh, that movie was so bad. And I was like, man, that movie was great. Yeah, sometimes, like that or Amazing Spider-Man too. they're just fun to I watch when something Amazing Spider-Man. crashes. Was that that one with that Heathcliff, Gar- I'm sorry, Garfield guy? <laughs> yeah, what's Heathcliff? <laughs> it was an old... The whole the cat... It was an animated cat oh. cartoon. He lived in a garbage. Yeah, he lived dump. in like a dump. <laughs> it's an alley That's cat or something. An alley cat. <laughs> and then you also like Double Dragon I lo- a lot. I know Street uh, Double Fighter. Dragon. I won a um. What what, are, what were those called? Advanced screening. It was like a sneak preview. Yeah, screening sneak for press. preview yeah. screening. I won a dress up as a ninja costume mm-hmm. contest. And I, I feel like it was around Halloween because I think that's why I was dressed up as that. And we had gone to like Papa John's and gotten a free slice of pizza. <laughs> Do you remember that? I don't know. Wait, so you, oh, so you were already remember. dressed as a ninja? I was always dressed as a ninja, dude. He was always ready. <laughs> it was like 93, you know, so. Yeah, it was 93. Dude, I was ready to throw down. I had my katanas. Yeah, it was <laughs> nunchucks. Nunchucks at that time. Oh, sorry. Nunchucks. <laughs> I always wanted uh, ninja throwing stars. Ah, oh, stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have a favorite movie because all movies are fairly awful. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> except for Annie, uh, we like we, we like the Annie. new one, the 2015 one, <sighs> the one with Jamie Foxx. Yeah. Life for us. Jay Z does a soundtrack. It's hip and contemporary. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm tired of that. Don't ruin it. You know, I I actually don't have. Oh, well, I always say my favorite movie is Schindler's List. I was gonna that's say we, a downer. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's beautiful. It is a beautiful Christmas film. Is like, an hour and four minutes. I like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Loving the crew. Loving the crew. Anyway, uh, that's what we love for Valentine's Day. What's your favorite movie or TV show yeah. or anything, I guess? <laughs> what is it that you love? <laughs> what's your favorite um what's your favorite upcoming animated show about heroes that's gonna kick start in April and whose podcast you're listening to right now? Oh, I know what oh. it is. Go ahead, Catalina. No, go ahead. Powerless. <gasps> oh, oh, and on that note, <laughs> and stop. And on that note, we're gonna end. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hear any more about that. We're gonna end this episode of the Artifact Production Podcast. Uh, I hope you had a good time listening to it. Happy Valentine's, Happy Valentine's Day, Day, guys! Happy Valentine's You're Day. our Valentine. Yes. No matter what. Oh, the Aww. crew's our Valentine. Yeah. Um, Thing that makes us the happiest. Yeah, that's actually it true. Yeah, what a great way true. to end it. Yeah. So that bad taste in my mouth from Powerless. <laughs> Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, that's been it for this week. I'm Jose. I'm Catalina. I'm Miles. See you next time. Love the cruise.